Try it again. Good morning, Mount Zion. Y'all try to go ahead and give God some praise. Listen, God has been good to us throughout this whole entire process. And we're just so great. Understanding that every day of our lives, it is only because of His goodness, His grace, and His mercy that we are yet standing and able to give Him glory, and give Him honor, and give Him praise. So can you take about 10 seconds to remember everything that He's yeah. done for you this week? And I don't care if you clap your hands, I don't care if you yell out loud, I don't care if you put your elbow on the, on, on the horn, but somebody give God some praise. Lord, yes, Lord, we bless you, Lord. We praise you, God, because you're wonderful. You're complete, God. And you're with us always. And we know that in our lives, you have the final say. And that's why we bless you. Come on, put your hands together.
that is glad that the mighty God we serve is not like man. Because my Mount Zion church family, what I love about my God is that no matter how bad I've messed up. And can I tell y'all that in my 39 years of living, I've done some messing up. There were some things that I had to straighten up. There were some things that I had to own up to. And unlike man, because man will hold it over your head every time they see you, every moment that they get up. They will try to pull you down. They will try to reminisce on who you used to be and who you used to hang with and how you used to do things. But what I love about my Jesus is my God is not like man. He gives us mercies every single day. And brothers, can I talk to the brothers out here? In order to receive that mercy, we don't have to buy no new hair. We don't have to buy no new bag. We don't have to get no feet in. God will just give us the mercy. I see my wife holding her head down. But y'all know what I'm talking about. To be loved by God means that every day we get a new opportunity. And even when I don't get it right, even when I stumble and fall a second, third, and fourth time, the God that I serve is right there to pick me up. Mercy is when you have compassion towards your enemy. I just said something. You better speak on it. And y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Y'all know the person on your job that gets on your last nerve. I'm talking about mercy. Y'all know the person even in your neighborhood that gets on your nerve, but you still have mercy. There might be somebody even in your home, but you still have mercy. The reality is, my Amen. brothers and my sisters, God has the power to destroy us for our shortcomings, has the power to destroy us for our sins, has the power to turn his back on us. But I'm so glad for God's grace and God's mercy that look beyond our faults, that forgives our sins, that excuses our shortcomings and supplies all of our needs. I wonder if I've got a witness that can testify what a mighty God we serve. When we wake up in the morning, we think it is our alarm clock. We think it is our child, our grandchild, our niece, or our nephew. We think that it is the noise that comes from our phone that wakes us up. But can I tell you that there is a finger of love for me and there's a finger of love for you that touches us every morning. And so the text says that the mercies of our God make sure that we are not consumed by our sins. Can I drop something in your spirit? How you messed up on Friday has nothing to do with your Saturday. And how you do your two-step on Saturday night won't bless up all y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Your Saturday night two-step will not mess up your Sunday morning blessing. The text says that the mercies are new every day. And it says great is that faithfulness. I wonder if I've got a witness that understands that it doesn't have to be your birthday. It doesn't have to be on Sunday. It doesn't have to be on your anniversary in order for you to receive the mercies of the Lord. I'm so glad that I serve a God that every day that he touches me, I receive grace and I receive mercy. Some of us get that approval letter knowing we didn't deserve it. That's God's grace and God's mercy. Some of us find ourselves at the front of the line. We don't even qualify to be in the line. That's God's grace and God's mercy. God's grace and God's mercy has us standing here on this morning. Grace is courteous goodwill. So in other words, when you give grace, you do it from the kindness of your heart. Nobody should jump on social media and see a post about what all you have done and who all you have blessed and who all you have fed and all this other kind of stuff. But can I give you a long post alert? 
if the Lord ever posted all that God has done for me, you would have a arthritis in your hand because you would keep strolling and keep strolling and keep strolling and keep strolling. My brothers and my sisters, I just stopped by for a few moments on this morning to testify that I know what it's like to have God's grace and to have God's mercy. But here's where we mess up. We want to receive it. Uh-oh. I'm stepping on some toes now. Step on I'm stepping on Step some toes now. I'm Mash stepping up. on some toes now. We want to receive it. We want our cup to run over. But when it comes from even taking a little bit out of the saucer in your cup up, to be a blessing to somebody else, we act like we don't know what it's like to receive it so we can not give it. I told y'all at the top uh, that man will hold a grudge and will hold things over your head until the end of time. Man will simply dislike you because of who you are, because of who you are, the type of car you drive, the address, your education. But I'm so glad that God looks deep inside of me, doesn't look at the outside, but he looks on the inside. And God understands that I may not always get it right. Sometimes I gotta go back and apologize. Sometimes I gotta clean up what I messed up. Anybody here know what it's like to start all over again? But my brothers and my sisters, I just stopped by with some good news on the phone. Whether you started last week, whether you're starting today, or you haven't quite made up in your mind, whenever it is that you're ready to get right with God, I want to encourage you that whatever your day is, the same mercy that God gave me years ago will be available to you right then and there. I stop by to let you know that some of us wait until Sunday morning. You might not even live to see a Sunday morning. So while you have the opportunity, go ahead and get you some of God's grace and God's mercy. Can I testify to somebody out here? There have been times in my life where I know that my money couldn't get me through. My education couldn't get me through. My family name couldn't get me through. But I find myself surrounded by God's grace and by God's mercy. I wonder if I've got a witness out here on this morning. There's been some grace in your life that could have taken you out of.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come at this moment just to say thank you. We thank you, dear God, for all that you have done. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for what you are doing. We thank you, dear God, we trust, believe, and know that you are going to do. Dear God, we lift up one, Mother Vivian Fields, Sister Ann Holmes, Brother Jesse Reed, Sister Carolyn Jefferson, Sister Ruby Hargrove, Brother Fletcher Freeman, Sister Betty Rice, Sister Maggie Wilson and her family, Sister Anita Oliver, and Campbell, Alexis Holmes, Colin and Kalani Holmes, Maya Johnson, Monica Higgins, Carol Williams, Sister Robin Brown, and all those with God that we cannot call by name. But dear God, you made us. Therefore, you know what about us. You know exactly what it is that we stand in the need of. We need your grace. We need your mercy. We need your steadfast love. We love you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And we desire to do nothing without you. This is our servant prayer. And we pray in victory in the name of Jesus. Amen.
And just like today, you know, how we've been doing for well over a year, we will get you in and out. Amen? So if you're comfortable, only if you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable, Mount Zion Worship Services will still be available on Facebook Live during the worship experience. And then later Sunday or first thing Monday, um, you can catch the services on YouTube. But for those that are comfortable, and I can assure you, every safety measure um, that has been brought down by the CDC, as well as by the AME Church, um, has been done with our facilities. And so we look forward to seeing each and every one of you, either here in person in the Fellowship Hall, or continue in our virtual experience. Amen? I believe some of our college students have already gone back. Rest is okay. Okay, so some of our college students have already gone. Still got some still here. Okay, uh, next Sunday, uh, Sister Robert Brown stood in place last year for faculty and staff and all of that. Um, she will stand in place next Sunday. And then I will have a young person from elementary school, middle school, so on and so forth, so that we can pray over our children. Amen? We are in uh, different times. Amen? And uh, we are in different times. We are in different times. And nobody but God is going to see us through uh, what we have going on between now and the end of the year, as well as going into the new calendar year. Amen? But we out of here. I want to thank you all uh, for hanging with us for just a little while. A little warm today, but we made it through. May God bless you. May God keep you. Get out of here, Mount Zion side. Thank y'all so much.